up our last segment of TV20's Black History Month special report. And TV20's Camille Sayed and I really wanted to highlight something something of a hidden gem in downtown Gainesville. We can't reveal all the secrets, you'll have to check them out yourself, but take a look at America's Escape Room. It all started on date night in 2018. We put it together, we started this building, it was all concrete, no walls, and we, we made it, we made it happen. Tiffany and Finest Harwell knew opening America's escape room in Gainesville was the key to attracting the masses. Crisis at 1600, you have to save the White House from an attack. We have pandemic, which we're going through right now. And they have the insane asylum. Since 2018, America's escape game in Gainesville has tested people's ability to save the world or solve the case. You know, you can come here with your family, you can come on a date. You know, you can come meet new people because also uh, the one thing about the game that is great is you, you can connect with people that you don't know. Or patrons can choose to stick with just their team. Okay. Luckily for Camille and I, the Harwells helped us with a clue or two in the insane asylum. I don't even like walking in here. <laughs> I don't even like this. And while people try to crack the code, employees are here watching your every move, giving you clues, and hoping that you don't escape. You know, we don't have our own businesses. And to be in the heart of Gainesville, it was really important of us to put this back and have a black-owned business. And to all the black-owned businesses that we've featured from food to fitness, from Columbia to Marion counties and everywhere in between, to everyone who reached out to TV20's Camille Sayed and I, the hundreds of emails that you've all sent me throughout this month have made it very hard to choose, but we really hope you enjoyed our features. You can check out the escape room and all of our BHM stories on our website, wcjb.com.